Hello there everyone, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another Trinity Stamps video. Today we are going to be making some foiled coffee mugs with some of the new products and some old products. So this first product we're using is our foiled fish. We also have our Shimmer School. These are all hot foiling plates uh, that can be used with your Glimmer hot foil system or whatever hot foiling system that you might have. We're also going to bring in some glossy blue cardstock and some glossy black and glossy red cardstocks. And then, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. And I can't forget that we are going to be using our coffee mug card die set. It works beautifully with these glossy... Um, card stocks that will fit perfectly on there and then you'll have a card that looks like a coffee mug. All right so I'm going to start with our shimmer school and the foil I'm going to be using with this particular one is called moon dust. Now this one is from Spellbinders. Um, I'm going to have everything linked down below that I have used but we're going to bring in the quick trimmer. I have found that this for me is the easiest way to cut these foils. Uh, for whatever reason I don't have any luck with scissors so this is how I like to cut it. Um, and then we can line this up. So I like to make my sandwich on my mat. I'll take my cardstock, my foil pretty side up, and then put my foil plate down on top of that. And then I put everything kind of with some mint tape or whatever tape you have. My hot foil system is now heated up. You can see the green light is on. So I'm going to hit that timer and make sure that everything gets nice and warmed up. When that timer stops blinking, I'll bring in my other two plates and then I will run this through my uh, die cutting machine that goes with this particular system. So now follow along with whatever system that you might have, but check that out. How cool is that? And I kind of like how this is going to wrap around the sides. I did go ahead and use that same foil with the words that come in the Shimmer School that say just keep swimming. And I'm going to do those twice because I plan to make two cards here on film. And then I'll pull in the matching dies that go along with those. And we can run that through our die cutting machine. And then we'll have to do that a couple of times to make sure that we have all of those die cut out. But that Shimmer School is so cool. You can make some fairly quick cards. Uh, I do need to have coffee at the top, so I'm just using an Olo marker, a brown one, and then I'll bring in the die that goes along with our coffee mug card die to cut out the coffee for the top of our coffee mug. This is actually a really quick card, and I'm bringing in my crafty glue friend to glue everything down. So I'll put our coffee on top, and then we have our words, just keep swimming. But what I like about doing the coffee mugs like this is that usually your coffee mug might have a design that's going to wrap around the sides or the edges. And that's exactly what I did here with our shimmer school. I like how the school is wrapped around that coffee mug. And then once I get everything glued into place, I'm just going to put a stamp block on top of that to make sure that that sticks well. Because this is glossy cardstock, sometimes it'll move around a little bit. So there's our first card. I just love the shimmer on that glossy cardstock. And yeah, we have a coffee mug. So let's get on to our second coffee mug. You can see I have a white piece of cardstock that I've cut using the coffee mug die, and I've already got that one down. We're putting some bubbles on our piece. I'm trimming down some copper hot foil, and I'm going to use our foiled fish over the top of this one. And you'll see I've got some bubbles there. I'm just using some scrap pieces of that hot foil, tacking everything down where I want it to be. And then, you know, wait, making sure my plate gets heated up properly. Once again, using some mint tape to hold everything down. And then I can place those on top of my heat plate. And I already ran those through, as you can see. But check it out. How cool is that? I'm going to do a couple more fish. And then I'm going to go ahead and color them. So I did do this on some yellow cardstock. As you can see, we've got that yellow with the copper foil. And then I'm bringing in some Olo markers, just a couple of them. I'm not going to completely color our fish. That's kind of the fun of d foiling these onto some colored cardstock. And just play around with the cardstock that you have. If you have some textured cardstock that may not work as well, uh, this was a fairly untextured piece of cardstock so that worked out just fine and sometimes your foil depending on how it is can be a little finicky as well but this um I guess it's is it, it's yeah it's copper uh it it worked well so for their eyes I'm going to use a white prismacolor pencil just to make them stand out a little bit more and once we're done with that we're going to bring in our matching dies and die cut all of these out Once again, tacking that down with some mint tape, but we're gonna have lots of little fish. So now we can start assembling this piece. You'll see all those bubbles on that background. I thought that was fun. So you've got your white coffee mug. 
And then we're going to just start putting some of those fish down. This one, he didn't cut out properly, so we're just going to use his head like he's poking up from the bottom. But I like doing that because it does give you the illusion that there's more going on outside of the card. I'm only going to have this little fish wrap around the side. The reason for that is um, because I do also want you to be able to, or I wanted to be able to stamp my name on the back of this card. So we picked out this little guy and the crafty glue friend works perfectly. We've got one that's going to be going over the, the coffee handle, the mug of the hand, um, the handle of the mug. And that's going to work out fine too, because, uh, we can cut him out. And like I said, that just gives you the illusion that there's more going on outside of the coffee mug or it's wrapping around or whatnot. So like I said, this little guy, um, he's going to go right over the top of that handle, but we can trim him down. So I'm not worried about it. We've got two leftover fish. We'll use those as well. See, I've got that little guy wrapped around. And then we're going to use our words, just keep swimming again. I feel like that's just a good message for a coffee mug, right? <laughs> just keep swimming. <laughs> and then all that shimmer on there is just gorgeous. I love that moon dust. It's beautiful. And these fish, imagine the little color combinations you could do with these fish. I decided to stick with more goldfish you know, more of a look like that. All right, so everything's fairly uh, dry. So I'm gonna take my scissors and we're gonna trim off the excess from that little guy. And then we're going to go into the handle and we're gonna trim off what's hanging into the handle, just going around the edge. It's easier coming from uh, coming up inside the handle to trim that off. And then I've got an extra piece. I just decided I wanted part of his tail uh, to be sticking off that one side because we had four fish and I felt like I needed an odd so we're going to cut his tail and we'll have him sticking on there. Trim off the excess and then we have one extra fish to be able to put on the inside or decorate the whole front and back if you wanted to. Trying to see if I could get one more fish just poking up from the bottom but then in the end I just decide we'll just use this one fish. And then once that's in there, that's going to finish off these two cards that I wanted to share with you. But I did make a few other cards that I want to share with you as well. So there's the two that we made on camera. And now let me share with you this one that I made using some glossy black cardstock. That one also uses the ribbon curls, brand new die and uh, foil plate. And then we use the Fantastic stamps and dies for the sentiment. <laughs> it says, I'm ready to party. Who's got the coffee? <laughs> and then I used the um, rainbow confetti on that one. This particular one uses the red foiling cardstock. I used some black foil. We used our vintage tin tile foil plate and then the older world's greatest stamp set along with some sparkle stars. I think that one turned out so fun. You could do world's greatest friend, mom, dad, whatever. And then this one may end up being my favorite. I used the foiling florals and I did that one with some magenta hot foil. We colored it with Olos and Prismacolor pencils. And then the sentiment comes from the brand new punny cup of tea. And then we also used some bubble gum embellishments. That one, like I said, might be my favorite. And I love how that one wraps around the card as well. So here's a look at all of the cards that I made. I just think it's fun. I feel like that coffee mug card dies. Just you got to have it in your stash. There isn't much you can't put on it, right? All right, so that's going to finish off our cards for you today. I really hope you enjoyed them. If you did, please hit that like button. Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And be sure to check out all that Trinity Stamps has going on over on their blog, Facebook page, and Instagram for more crafty inspiration. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you soon.